The NHS is an amazing institution. I'm very proud to have worked for it for the last 30 years. I'm absolutely disgusted to see it being sold off and I want my MP to work hard to bring it back into the public hands. This privatisation was started first by Labour with the private finance initiative and then carried on by the Conservatives and Lib Dems under the 2012 Health and Social Care Act. What Labour did was allow private sector to come in and build a whole lot of new hospital and healthcare buildings. It's estimated that in Oxfordshire alone, this is costing us £40 million a year in excess interest on contracted services. If the government had borrowed this money, we wouldn't have had to pay this £40 million a year and it could have gone straight into frontline services. Then, the Conservatives, with the help of the Lib Dems, have carried this on in the last Parliament and it's being very cleverly done. It's a sort of creeping privatisation, which first of all removes the government's responsibility to provide health care for all. I think most people don't realise that, that the government is no longer responsible for providing health care for all in this country. And by the time we realise fully what's happening, it'll be too late to change it. And of course, if the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership goes ahead, the TTIP that's being discussed, this will be far, far worse. Our NHS will be taken out of our hands, possibly forever, and taken over by private companies, probably largely US healthcare companies. This is a major threat, not just to the health service, but to our democracy. We are the only national party in Parliament fully committed to a fully public NHS, properly funded, providing services free at the point of delivery. So that's why I'll be voting for Anne Duncan in May. <laughs>